In the previous lectures, we reviewed findings from the ancient Near East related to prophecy. Against this background, we can now attempt to assess how this material contributes to a better understanding of biblical prophecy in its context. Let's begin from the scope of the phenomenon of prophecy. There is no doubt that biblical prophecy stands out from Mesopotamian prophecy in terms of distribution, centrality, and theological development. According to our current knowledge, Prophets did not play a prominent role in Mari or in Assyria as they did in Israel. Israelite prophets exerted great influence on the people and king. Biblical prophecy established a long-standing literary school which was responsible for a rich theology. It covers various themes such as human fate, particular and universal mission, human divine relations, royal duties, international relations, etc. The limited documentation of Mesopotamian prophecy that has reached us does not indicate a similar rich prophetic tradition in Mesopotamia. We should still keep in mind, however, that Mesopotamian prophecy was probably an oral institution which lacked the necessary tools to establish itself as a solid literary religious tradition. What about the topics addressed by the prophets? In the previous lessons, we saw that many Mesopotamian prophecies deal with the welfare of king and country. This feature is especially striking in the Assyrian prophecies. We have seen that such prophecies are often called shulmu prophecies, that is, peace prophecies. Such prophecies are also known to us from the Bible, where they are called shalom prophecies. Here are two examples. As for the prophet who prophesies peace, when the word of that prophet comes true, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord has truly sent him. The prophets of Israel who prophesy concerning Jerusalem and see visions of peace for it, when there was no peace, says the Lord God. In these verses, Jeremiah and Ezekiel refer to the prophecies that promise peace and prosperity. Just as in the Mesopotamian sources, these prophecies are called peace prophecies. Jeremiah and Ezekiel both criticize these prophecies and ascribe them to false prophets. However, not all the biblical peace prophecies were delivered by false prophets. Many were uttered as words of comfort by important biblical prophets, for example. Peace, peace, to the far and the near, says the Lord, and I shall heal them. Nevertheless, the principal focus of Israelite prophecy lies on reproving the people and the king. This agenda of biblical prophecy stands in contrast to Mesopotamian prophecy, at least according to the extant material. How important is this difference? We will discuss this question in the next lecture.